Hello and welcome to Retro Wall. Oh, thank goodness I had this on here. Hello and welcome to Retro Breeze. Today I have a selection of products from an indie store on Etsy called the Retro Source. Want to give a big thank you to John at the Retro Source for offering to send me these products to check out. As usual, he's not seeing anything to do with this video before it goes live, but I think you'll find that these products are really, really cool, and they come from a really cool indie seller. Let's take a look here. Retro Breeze. Thank you so much for taking the time out to review my products. Included with the lanyards are a few of my front skins and a pack of my black screws. Hope you like everything from John at the Retro Source. Well, thank you, John, for sending me these. Sorry it's taken so long to get this video out, but hopefully it will be a good one. At the Retro Source, John sells a selection of products for your MiU Mini, including these really awesome custom skins that shine and shimmer in different ways, custom buttons in various colors, a set of black screws, which we'll look at a bit later, and these really unique headphone jack lanyards, which is mainly what he sent me this time. So let's go ahead and take all this out of the pack and take a look. Firstly, here's this front skin for the MiU Mini. And whereas at first glance, I thought this was just like a protective white skin, it's actually glow in the dark, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like later, so be sure to stick around for that. There's another skin in here too, a blue one, which has this shiny hex pattern details, and this looks absolutely awesome. I actually haven't seen a skin like this from any other seller, so this is really, really cool. And then of course we have a selection of lanyards here. Now the coolest thing of all is that John lets you customize these lanyards on his Etsy store. So you can actually get these in a selection of colors, styles, and lengths from his Etsy store. I really felt like this black and white one would look best with my MiU Mini, and I was not disappointed at all. As you can see, this is very, very nice. I love the pattern on the fabric. It seems very well made. The knot is sealed at the end as well, so there's no worry about it coming unraveled. And it has this interesting little headphone jack attachment. This is made out of hard, but also kind of softish plastic. It's kind of hard to explain but it's not so rock hard that it's gonna wear down your headphone jack, but it's soft enough that it presses in really comfortably. Also note that this doesn't appear to be 3D printed, at least not with a normal FDM 3D printer. So I think this is a quality product. Here's the purple or lilac one, which is of the shorter length. And here's one that's red, white, and blue, again of the longer length with this sliding lock mechanism. These longer ones are the absolute perfect length to wrap around your wrist and have plenty of space to actually hold the MiU Mini as well. I really, really like them. And finally, there's a spacey, alien-like black and green one. I really like all of these, but I definitely like the black and the white one the best, but I think it's so cool that you can just customize these. You can choose from a variety of colors on the store. And so no matter how your Miu Mini is looking, whichever color you've got, if you've got a front skin on it or anything like that, he's definitely gonna have one of these or a custom one that you're gonna really, really like. So excellent job, John, these are awesome. And so here it is plugged into the Miu Mini. It goes right into the headphone jack and seems to hold very, very fast. In fact, I was tugging on this pretty darn hard and it wasn't coming out at all. It's very, very secure. And I think that the purpose of these is twofold. One, just having a wrist strap is kind of nice. It just looks nice, it's a nice accessory. And the second one is that with the Miu Mini being so small, it's also kind of easy to drop. I would be lying if I said that I had never dropped my Miu Mini and had a couple of like mini heart attacks because of it. But with these lanyards, you're just gonna get a little bit of extra security just in case you drop your MiU Mini. Or as I'll demonstrate in a minute, a lot of extra security. And by the way, removing and inserting this feels exactly the same as a headphone jack, but just with a little bit more stiffness. It really does feel like it fits in the slot perfectly and holds your MiU Mini very securely. And here's the red, white, and blue version. Next up, the lilac. And finally, this black and green one which actually was really, really growing on me while I was recording this. I really love this design. And so here it is around my wrist and connected to the MiU Mini. As you can see, you can just slide the lock mechanism up and it holds it really tightly. And I really, really love this longer size because even with the wrist strap on, you still have plenty of room to move the Mini around and still play it. It doesn't get in the way at all. All right, so here's the thing. I'm gonna do this next part of this video so that you don't have to and I don't recommend trying this at all, but I do want to demonstrate that these lanyards do keep your MiU Mini very safe and secure in the event that you were to accidentally drop it. You may have seen some horror stories on Reddit about the MiU Mini being fragile. I'm not sure how valid that is. I don't think it's particularly fragile, 
but you still don't want to drop it, especially on one of the edges of the screen. So let's start here by just dropping it. All right, so that angle wasn't very good at all, but you can see that the MiU Mini did not come off of the strap. It did hold it very securely, and the strap is still seated very well in the headphone jack. But you know what? I'm going to actually push this to the very limit. Let's see how many times I can drop this. Again, please, please don't do this at home. First, let me set up a little safety blanket here. All right, looks like we're good to go. So take a deep breath and let's drop the MiU Mini. So yeah, as you can see, there's no damage or wear on this headphone jack attachment at all. And this thing literally saved my MiU Mini 64 times just now. So how many times have you dropped your Mini? And if it's anything more than zero, you know that this is an incredibly helpful product. I highly, highly recommend this. I don't recommend doing what I just did, but I do recommend getting one of these straps just for that little bit of extra security. Because I mean, if I didn't have this attached and I had done what I had just done, this whole thing would have been destroyed, probably in the first, second, or third drop. But here, this just kept it safe. I mean, what more do you want? This just keeps your MiU Mini a little bit safer. Anyway, now I want to go ahead and take a look at this white front skin that I have here. And I actually have to admit, and I'm really sorry to John for this as well, until I put this on and noticed the slightly yellow color, I had no idea what this was. I just thought it was like a nice, you know, protective front skin. But it turns out that this thing is actually glow in the dark. And as you can see, it looks absolutely awesome. And I really like it because it doesn't really change the way the MiU Mini looks in general either. If you weren't looking for it, I don't think you'd be able to see it was there. But it just looks so cool when it's glow in the dark. Ah, oh, I miss glow in the dark stuff. This is just awesome. Love it. I really couldn't bring myself to take the glow in the dark skin off after I put it on because it was just so awesome. But you can see the blue one here is really nice too. And I think it's pretty clear that this would look absolutely awesome. Again, go check out the Etsy store and you can see photos of all these different skins on the MiU Mini. And they look really, really cool. And the last one of John's products that I was sent were these black screws. And these are going to be perfect if you have a black MiU Mini. Now here's my black MiU Mini. And as you can see, I've got it all decked out in the Sakura Retro Modding PlayStation effect. But I never actually realized that the screws in this were silver. So I'm going to go ahead and take out these silver screws and replace them with John's black screws. There are six screws in total, four on the outside here, and two under the battery. It's really simple, you just got to unscrew them and screw the new ones in. And seriously, until I put these black screws in, I didn't know how much my black MiU Mini was missing this look. Now the silver screws look kind of silly to me, but with the black ones in here, the whole design of the black MiU Mini comes together perfectly. And of course, I love my Sakura modding buttons and skin as well. It all just works perfectly together. Looks absolutely stunning. Thanks, John. I never knew I needed this. And that brings me to the end of this review of the RetroSource products. I am a huge fan of supporting indie creators, and these products have not disappointed me at all. The lanyards are really good quality. 
there's plenty of designs and styles available, and they will keep your Miu Mini safe in the event that you drop it. What more could you possibly want than that? The glow on the dark skin is kind of retro and quirky and I just absolutely love it. I honestly couldn't believe it when I was recording this video and I was like, hold on a minute, this kind of looks a bit yellow. Oh my god is this glow in the dark and I literally ran into a dark room to try it out and I was not disappointed. Awesome. And finally, these black screws are the accessory that I never knew my black Miu Mini was missing. They bring the entire look together and it just looks absolutely awesome. Overall, I could not be happier with any of these products, they're all excellent. Please go ahead and check out John, the retro source on Etsy. You can find him by going to etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the retro source. Or just follow the link on screen or in the description box below. Thanks again John for sending me these, I had a blast testing them out. I'm really glad that my Miu Mini isn't broken and I think that's a real testament to how good your products are. So thanks again, and thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please go ahead and leave a like on it, and of course subscribe and ring that notification bell for more Miu Mini and other retro gaming content. This has been Shem from Retro Breeze, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.